super excited. It's so cute in here. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another episode of Mahogany's World. I hope y'all are doing good. Hope y'all are feeling good. If you're new here, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Turn on that post notification bell so that you're notified every single time I drop another video, okay? If you're returning, hey, girl, hey. If you're returning person and you ain't subscribed like what are you doing so make sure you hit that subscribe button too so that we can be locked in because we are growing y'all and i am so so proud we just passed 7k like we are doing this thing okay and i just love each and every one of y'all make sure that you are also subscribed because i'll be doing a giveaway super super soon and so i want y'all to all be able to participate in the giveaway make sure you follow me on instagram as well i'm at instagram on at mahogany j underscore your girl is also on the TikTok, okay? I've been posting different little videos and stuff like that on TikTok. My TikTok is at Mahogany's World with 3D. So I have an amazing, amazing, amazing day planned today. It's gonna be so, so far, y'all. I mean, like today is Father's Day. By the time y'all watch this, it'll be past Father's Day, but today is Father's Day. So I am gonna be doing some stuff for Bay today, y'all know. If you've been watching the vlogs that we went out and got based something special. So I'm going to be just taking y'all with me to um, just see all like the whole experience of um, what we got planned for Bay today and everything. And then we're going to come back home and we're going to chit chat. We're going to talk. We might not come back home and chit chat. We might just chat somewhere else. I don't know. But we're going to chit chat. Um, it's just going to be a really, really good vlog. So get your wine. Just, just enjoy the vibes because we're about to have a good day. Okay? So y'all, I'm at this amazing place called Dine and Design. Super excited, it's so cute in here. I'm gonna show y'all what we're gonna be doing. All right, y'all, so I literally just finished painting. This was so dope. Um, this is what I painted right here. For um, We're, like I said, at Don and Design. It was a really, really dope experience. Um, really had fun. Um, since today was Father's Day, of course, I have the kids and stuff with me, but um, it was a really dope place. Definitely recommend you guys come here for like your date nights or whatever, your girlfriend nights. They have a lot of tables for different people and stuff. So it was so, so fun painting, y'all. Um, so yeah, me and y'all know, if you watch my other vlog, y'all know we got a little surprise. So this is gonna be exciting. All right, y'all, so painting was really fun. Um, then I did a quick Walmart run to pick up um, some of Justin's favorite things to eat, so. Um, I did that now I am getting his gift officially together. I went ahead and had the boys um, sign his card like earlier today. So they all like put their names and stuff. I thought that was so cute. Um, so let me go and put their card in here. All right, and then now I have mine. I wanna sign mine. I have signed the card. Now I'm gonna put that in here. All right, now I'm going to get this bag together. Right 
pick it up. Break it up. Okay. I'm gonna try to actually put his gift, which is this, y'all, inside or something. to put his cards in there, mine, and then the boys. And then we're good to go. Um, I'll check in with you guys and let y'all know his reaction. And then we're going to get into a chit chat uh, a little bit later based on the title of this video. So, peace. Hey, y'all. So, I have made it back to the house. Whew, it has been such a great day. Um, I have dinner cooking on the stove and it's smelling good having me some fish and broccoli and cheese um what else some corn a bit of rice and different things like that so as you guys can tell from the title of this video i'm pretty much sharing like how i changed my life finding my purpose and you know the reason that i decided to level up and what inspired me and motivate me to do so and so I will first say, if you haven't got a copy of my book, I'm Not the Girl I Used to Be, you definitely, definitely need to do that. Um, that book is a memoir, and it pretty much goes in depth. Like, people who have got my book, they always come to me saying, like, I love how raw and real you are. So, it's not your typical book. Like, it's not your typical, on the surface, like, we get real raw. We talk about, like, sex, like, sight, like, going back and forth to that toxic ex. We talk about everything in that book. And it's real raw, okay? No filter. And so definitely get your copy. It's available on Amazon right now. Um, or it is available on my website, not the guy used to be .com, but we're currently rebranding. So right now it's available on Amazon. So I will say, you know, when it came to pretty much changing my life, I remember that at one point I just wanted something different for myself. You know, I was tired of the relationships I was in. I was tired of being cheated on. I was tired of being manipulated. I was tired of, like, even the friend circle that I was around. Like, I was tired of just the environment. I was tired of smoking all the time and partying all the time. I was just, like, at a point where I was, like, literally tired of everything. I didn't want to be in no more relationships. I didn't want to, like, be around people that were, like, smoking. I didn't want to be, like, in environments where people were drinking. Like, I just really was just tired of, like, everything. I had got to a point where I was just fed up because I felt like I wasn't progressing. And I knew that there was, like, things that I wanted out of life. I didn't, of course, know that I'd be where I am now. Like, I didn't think that this would be what I would be doing. But I did know that I just wanted something overall different. And so, I had got fed up <laughs> with my current situation. And I feel like... That's the first step to, um, you know, changing your life is being fed up with where you are because that's what gives you that motivation to make that action to actually change. You know, a lot of people say they want to change their life, but they're not serious because they're not like fed up for real, for real with where they are. And once you are fed up like for real, for real about like where you are, you definitely are going to put that action to start making that change. And so I started with little things like I deleted my ex's phone numbers and I like stopped hanging out with friends that I thought were toxic. You know, I just said, hey, you know, I feel like we're growing apart and I kind of just cut those relationships off. Um, I know in that season, a lot of people, they thought that I was being funny and different things like that. But really, I just had to do what was best for me. And now they understand, you know, years later. But it was kind of tough um, when I first, like, embarked upon that journey, especially, like, those ones, those friends that you call, like, your day ones. You know, they, they had a hard time understanding because they thought that the lifestyle they were living, like, what's wrong with that? Why do you want to stop partying all the time and drinking and smoking and stuff? And so... I just knew I wanted something different. So I had to just cut those relationships, start hanging around people that were going where I wanted to go, that were doing what I wanted to do. Um, and it was a process because I had to first work on myself, you know, and that process of working on myself started within and it required me to do a lot of like inner work. Um, and I can, of course, go more in depth with whatever you guys want me to share, but I had to do that inner work first. And then once I had did that inner work, then it started showing on the outside that I was changing, if that makes sense. 
Um, I feel like a lot of people these days, they want to show that they change on the outside without doing the inner work. And then they find themselves in the same situations they were trying to get out of because they never changed their inside. They never changed their mindsets, their thought patterns and the way they did. They do stuff. Um, so that was the first thing that I really did to like change my life. And then, you know, when it came to finding my purpose, I really started like going to church and just listening to different sermons and stuff. This was years ago. Um, of course, I still, you know, go to church and stuff like that. But I'm just saying it was years ago when this happened. I ended up getting baptized and different things like that. Um, I went to a church, which is so important, that was relatable and I could like actually understand. I feel like a lot of people go to churches these days that their grandma went to or they just go to like whatever church is just like, I don't know, just a random church. And they'll sit there and literally not even understand anything that the person is saying. And the thing is, it's so important that you go to a church where you like are understanding where the pastor is like relevant, he's breaking it down to you because that's the only way that you're going to be able to like understand it so that you can apply it to your life. And once I started just going to a church that I understood and that was growing me, I started like praying. Um, I had a really... I didn't grow up in church, um, and so I didn't know how to pray initially, and I thought prayer was this big, drawn-out speech. I thought I had to talk in tongues and do all the stuff that I saw other people doing, and um, it wasn't until I really wanted to change my life that I realized that prayer was literally just talking to God, like, and I started with, like, simple stuff, like, God, thank you for this day, or God, thank you for waking me up this morning, and I felt like just through those baby steps, God always just met me there, and... He just spoke to me even in those moments. And I remember, I didn't even know what it was like for God to speak to me. I used to, I called this pastor and I was like, what is it going to be like? And he's like, you know, he's not going to crack the sky and you hear him talking like you can hear yourself, you know, in this audible form. But it's more like within yourself that you can hear him. And I remember that was a journey. But then I finally got comfortable with understanding what it meant to like hear God within myself. If that makes sense. Um, and from there, that's how I was able to find my purpose because I was able to literally ask God, like, God, what do you, like, what was I created for? And he just began to break it down for me. He showed me in dreams and like visions and what I mean by visions, because sometimes that could be like one of those like churchy words. You're like, oh Lord, what does that mean? But like, kind of like in a daydream, if that makes sense. So, um, he showed me that's, I guess that's the best term, you know, until you understand what a vision fully is. I would say it's kind of like a daydream. You know, you might be sitting there and then your brain just kind of, your thoughts just kind of go off and you see like visually something, if that makes sense. And it can happen in your sleep too, but I started having visions that were sent from God and him just showing me different things that he wanted me to do and how he wanted me to just share my story to help other women and um, different things like that because... I have a story of, you know, not growing up in church, not being this church girl, being from the streets and, you know, a family that was like on governmental assistance and stuff and, you know, a girl that smoked and did drugs and stuff to actually transform it and God showed me that he wanted me to share that with people so other people could do that, specifically women. And so um, that's how I found my purpose. And from there, I've just been motivated to continue to just grow and evolve. Um, and then, of course, you know, Within that time of me changing my life, I met my husband. Um, we ended up getting married. I had kids. And fast forward to now. Um, and I'm always looking to grow. I'm always looking to do the next thing that God is calling me to do. Um, and it's just been a journey. It's been a journey. I'm nowhere. Like, I we, I, I, haven't, I feel like I haven't even scratched the surface. You know, so many people look and they're like, you know, you're 25 and you've done this and you've achieved that. And. It's like, I haven't even scratched the surface, though, of what I'm really, what God has really called me to do, you know. I have my hand in a few different things. Of course, I do YouTube, and I model, um, and I mentor women, and I'm an author, and a mom, and a wife, and the list goes on. An entrepreneur, um, and the list goes on, but it's so much more that God wants me to do, and I know that God is just going to use me as an example of how you can do more than one thing you know so many people think when you get saved you can't you know do things like model and that's not true you know because there's a lot of people who model um but they love god genuinely and modeling is just something they do there's people who act and they love god genuinely but they might act roles that 
might, you know, come off the of church people as, you know, not say roles when really it's just their passion to act. It has nothing to do with their heart posture. And so I definitely believe that God is going to use me to show others that you can love God and you can still have a spicy marriage. You can still be a great mom. You can still do different things and still be successful, love God, and live a full life. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below what else you guys want me to share. If you ever want me to go more in depth, like I definitely can. I can do like another like part to this video. But I really just wanted to share my story. And I hope that it motivates you guys to even be better to level up and to live your best life. And to not let anybody's comments, their thoughts, their opinions, their blog posts, their videos about you or whatever stop you from being your best self. Okay? Well, y'all, I'll see y'all in the next video. Thank you so much for rocking with me today. It's been a really good day. I'm ready to eat. I smell my food. It's almost done. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Turn on that post notification bell so you're notified every single time I drop a video. Also, make sure you follow me on Instagram at MahoganyJ underscore, okay? And then on TikTok at Mahogany's World with 3Ds. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.